what's going on everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be testing out some new nano coco makeup you guys know i'm a brand ambassador for professional nail hair and beauty who stocks nano coco makeup so every month i like to bring you guys some new products let you know how i feel and yeah <laughs> i really am living for this lip so if you want to see what it is and the whole process that got us to this point please give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below super easy super free Let's get into it. Okay, so the first product we're going to kick off is brows. As I said, I already have my brows like all soaked up. So we're actually going to go into the brow styler. There we go. The brow styler powder kit. Um, shape and defined, soft, blendable colors, perfect eyebrow look anytime. So this is in the shade Brunette. You basically have the two brow shades over here. This is actually a highlighter, like a, a spot out highlighter. Um, this I'm assuming is the wax which is covered and then you get like a little brow pencil and a tiny little spoolie which could seriously be perfect for traveling but I'm not going to use that today yeah so this looks like it's like a balm almost so I'm actually just going to tip into the little powder and mix it with this balm kind of five there's a lot of products that have the two separated, um, like I know the Browsings palette by Benefit is also like powder separated from the wax. Then I'm just going to clean up the brows as well as prime the eyelid using the shade Eggshell. This is the HD cover concealer, this one's not new. Um, I've really been enjoying this concealer. And I think let's just do one eye to save some time. Okay, then we have a new quad to play with. This is the futuristic one. It has some really cool smoky tones in it. Okay, so I'm going to kick this off. Ooh, almost dropped it. <laughs> I'm going to kick this off by going into the shade right here. And I'm actually just going to apply this all over the lid area. It does have like a subtle kind of shimmer to it. But I feel like it would be really, really pretty. I'm using a blending brush. Just so I can pack it on as well as blend the edges. It's going to go underneath as well. Then I'm going to go into this light purple over here on my finger. It's a really pretty color. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply this on the lid. Don't know what it's going to do, but we'll see. Oh, okay. That definitely made it really pretty. <laughs> then to deepen this even further, I'm going to go in with a dark brown eyeliner. This is the Longwear Eyeliner in Dark Brown. <laughs> oh, that was so satisfying. <laughs> and I'm just going to hit the lash line. Okay, I'm just going to take a brush and smudge out the upper lash line as well as the lower lash line and then for mascara we have the HD extreme mascara also not new but a really really pretty mascara nonetheless I'm really digging this whole like cool tone vibe smoky I <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to do the other one off camera and then we'll be back to do the base. Alright guys, we are back. I don't have that many new complexion products besides a blush, I think. So we're going to speed through this really quickly. As always, I'll leave all the links down below, corresponding links. You know, I got you. So for foundation, we have the HD Perfection Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade Classic Tan, which I think is going to be a really good shade for me this summer. If you missed it, I did do a complete complete wear test of this foundation and showed you how it wore on my combination to oily skin if you want to see that video i'll leave it linked down below and up in the cards for you guys as you guys saw i only used two pumps and it went like a really long way okay then we're going to cream contour today and i'm going to use the hd cover concealer in the shade chocolate i've literally just put the concealer in the tube once and i did my whole face because this is so pigmented my best advice when it comes to cream bronzers and contours is 
definitely do it before you concealer because if you feel like you went a little bit too far with this you can always bring it back with some um, concealer that you use underneath your eyes. <laughs> Alright, then we're gonna go in with some concealers. I'm going to mix the shade Latte in Eggshell. Latte is technically my actual base color, whereas Eggshell is my brightening shade. And I'm going to set my contour bronze section as well as underneath my eyes. I'm already gonna set the face today and I'm gonna use the contour and strobing powder. So this shade right here will go on the bronze contour and the yellow shade right here will go underneath my eyes. I think out of all the products by Nana Coco that I've tried thus far, the complexion products are a fave. And I'm just gonna sit right here between my eyes because I do have like a little frown line up this eyebrow. I can go in and set my bronzer. I think that this will also like allow the powder um, blush to go on really beautifully. Because the blush today, oh my gosh, I'm a little scared. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna go in with blush. I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. So this is the, I think it's called the HD blush if I'm not mistaken, but this is in the shade bright orange, like. I mean, it doesn't translate because of the lighting. Yeah, that's that's a translation of what it looks like in real life. So what we're going to do is take a really fluffy brush and we're going to start with small bits and see how this translates. Because I feel like it could be a really... Okay, it's not that pigmented. I feel like this could be a really pretty color. And I was right. It's a really pretty color. And I feel like it complements the contour and bronze really beautifully as well. Okay, I'm just going to set my face using the all-in-one fixing spray. Pop on some highlighter, then we can do the lips. Okay guys, now we can do the lips. I have the Outlast Lip Liner in the shade Burgundy um, because I am drawn to this lip shade over here. And I'll show you what formula it is in a second. These lip liners are legit so soft and smooth. Then we're gonna go in with the lip color that I'm so excited about. So this packaging. Love it. <laughs> this is a tantalizing, literally, tantalizing lip tint. I have never used a lip tint in my life, but we're going to give this a go. So this is in the shade for fame. I have a whole bunch of them. But don't worry, I will be doing a lip swatch video pretty soon. You guys know I love those. So we're going to go in with the shade right here. Oh no, this is the wrong shade. We're going to be going in with the shade... <laughs> Um, dark spirit. Now that makes more sense. So I assume that it's going to be quite thin. So I'm just going to apply it on my lips and give it a tap as I go. I do see though how one can struggle to get an even kind of application. This lip is perfect. I don't know if it's gonna dry down. And I'm really feeling my lashes today, so I'm just gonna go in with a lash curler. And no lashes, honey. Okay, this lip doesn't look like it's gonna dry down. I didn't expect it to. Like, I just like throwing stones there. But let me switch on my t-shirt so this look can make some more sense. And I'll be back to end the video. <laughs> now, doesn't that look a little less chaotic? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I'll leave a list of the products down below with the corresponding links for you guys. Also, please let me know down below if there's any videos that you would love to see me film. I'll definitely give you a shout out, so let me know down below. But with that being said, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!